Choir Live Podcast. It's 26 June 2014, streaming directly from Singapore. It's Red Dot Rubicon Live. All right, so today I'm here to have a little chat on conversations. So long time ago, when human beings at the start of history, we probably had these conversations just within an individual. And then languages were born. And we could take these conversations to the people right beside us. With the advent of modern technology and broadcasting, we could then take these conversations across in space to other people beyond the people beside us. And then internet was born. And we could take these conversations across space and time. I'm gonna be talking about a special type of blogging. So how many of you here already blog or maintain some kind of blog? Awesome, that's a lot of you. And blogging is a medium that is usually using text or images. The special type of blogging that I'm gonna be talking about uses video or audio, and that is called podcasting. So there you have it. For the past couple of years, I've been having immense fun running two developer podcasts. One is a video and one is an audio. And hence, I'm here to talk with you about podcasting, especially with Ruby and Jekyll in just five tips. Tip number five, host the podcasting website. So Jekyll is a static site generator. It will create the static sites in terms of HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. And the best part is if you host it in GitHub with this Git branch called gh-pages, GitHub will build it for you, and there you have your podcasting website. Tip number four, boost the front matter. Now, in each blog post, you can extend the information about it using the YAML front matter, in this case, in each episode, which I did with Winston, as you can see. I've extended it, and in terms of podcasts, two meta tags are very important. One of them is the enclosure, which is the audio media file, and then the other one is the length, which is the size of the media file in bytes. So where do you use them? Well, usually you use them in the markup file using the liquid templating language, and here I'm using it to spurt out the audio tags and then the link to the MP3 file directly. Tip number three add configs. It's very similar to using YAML, and here I'm adding information regarding the entire site. For example, here you see one of them which is called feed, and I'm also using the feed in the markup in terms of the link. And here also I'm using the liquid templating, and that's how you get the RSS feed URL. Tip number two, create web syndication. So if you're hosting a blog, and web syndication is usually done via the format RSS or Atom. So Jekyll will allow you to have the template. So here I'm creating the feed.xml, and I'm looping through every episode or post. And here you also see I'm including the enclosure tag, which is picked up by the podcast apps, such as the iTunes on your mobile. And that's how you get each of your podcasts. And tip number one possibly the most important one. So if you didn't catch any of my four tips, catch this one, very important. Subscribe to your favorite podcast. And since this is a Ruby conference, I have three podcasts to suggest to you. Subscribe right away. If you have five minutes, subscribe to Ruby 5, or if you want an hour-long discussion, such as Ruby Robes, or even Ruby on Rails, subscribe to them. And I'm gonna continue TJ's suggestion, give them some hearts on Twitter, because I think these people are doing awesome stuff for our community and beyond. So there you go, listen, learn, and share. Let's continue the conversations with podcasting. <laughs>